Well, easier said than done, but it is about staying with the process, playing the game. Fans, of course, can torture themselves endlessly, predicting, prognosticating, praying. Who knows what might keep you up? They must have thought the scoreboard was wrong. Here's Ings. Oh, what a super goal. He just picks a corner and fills it. Time after time, Danny Ings. This is a centre forward who understands his job and fulfills it week in, week out. He knows where the goal is. He's just trying to drill it into the side net. And... Stunning effort, that is. He's got his head down, but he knows where the goals are. And he just whips it hard and low to the goalkeeper's left-hand side. And Foster has given the ball to Ings, and you don't want to be doing that. It's Danny Ings who punishes him. It's a deflection on the way through. He is short there with his attempt, attempted clearance there, Ben Foster. I wonder if Dawson could, could get closer to Danny Ings, shut him down a lot quicker. But that's a real soft and a bad goal to give away at this stage in the game. João Pedro, Holobas beyond him. Holobas with whip, Welbeck going in there and Watford back in the game. They've got a sniff of something. They've got a lifeline. And it was the best ball that's been played into the 18 yard box all afternoon. It's a terrific ball in. He knows Bednarek is under pressure. And that's what happens when you've got two front men in there. Danny Welbeck's in there. Troy Dini Sars around the far post. James Ward Pearls. Oh, oh magnificent. <laughs> this is just a world class strike centrally with loads of dip into that top corner. What can you do if you're Ben Foster there? Absolutely nothing. It's too good. Hey, click here to subscribe.